You can't you go wrong with You know what would be interesting food. to try as a drink? What? And it's a pie. Mm. Strawberry rhubarb? Ha <laughs> ha! Hello everyone, welcome back to Yummyosity. I'm Maggie. Hi, I'm Michael. And today we are trying weird flavored sodas. <laughs> okay, so I thought this was only going to be like a four part video. Apparently it's going to be a six part video. <laughs> so, brace yourselves. Awesome. So, these I ordered from Vat19, like the weird cotton candy flavors. And this is a brand called Melba's Fixins. Mm -hmm. And it says, Y'all get your fixins. And the serving size is 12 ounces. There's 170 calories. And there is 85 grams of sugar in these. There's 42 in this. You got to also look at the additional sugars. Oh, wait, I was looking at total carbs. Oops, my bad. Okay, there's 42. <laughs> still a lot. Not as much as Mountain Dew, but still a lot. Okay. All right. Do you our, want to pick? Our flavors today are strawberries. strawberries and cream, peaches and cream, lemon meringue pie, key lime pie, and apple pie. They are all pie flavored. All pie. Okay. Pick your poison. Magically, ew, I knew it. You love peaches. I love peaches. Peaches is my <sighs> well, it can only get better from here for me. No, I don't think it can. <laughs> you grabbed the worst can opener in the drawer. That's what you did. You literally did that. <laughs> it's not my fault. Oh. Like peaches and cream. I'm not a peaches person, but that smells amazing. Ready? Yeah. I'm fond of that. That's nice. That is scrum de <laughs> Are you sure you sent this though? I didn't get it, but my fingers are as oh my fingers are sliding. <laughs> They are twisted up. You know, I'll just pop them all now. <laughs> Get this over with. No, see, they're not meant. If it's that hard to twist them off, they're not supposed to be twist off. You're just trying to prove, like, oh, I'm strong. How am I trying to prove that I'm strong? Well, if this is your third off. time trying to twist it off. You're just like, I'm going to get it. Like, it's not gripping my shirt at all. Like, see, he told you they're not twist offs. You just need just a different. Bottle opener. Bottle opener. Because, like you said, I grabbed the worst one. Well, I'm going to show the apple pie to the camera and then pour some for us. This is the apple pie. <clears throat> it's like spot on, too, for that pour. Okay, this tastes more, or this smells more, not <laughs> taste. I think this smells more like fake apple. What? It smells more like fake apple. Did you say like fake apple? Yeah, like artificial apple. It doesn't smell like real apple. It doesn't, I mean, it has an underlying hint of crispness that an apple would have. <laughs> but, but it still smells like. Kind of like a fake Jolly Rancher. Or not like a fake Jolly Rancher. It smells no, like no. a Jolly Rancher. It smells I... fake. Ew. Yeah, it smells fake. It doesn't even smell But good. you can smell that cinnamon though. Could you not find the one on your keys? I couldn't. I can't find my keys. Mm, okay, well, bring it up. up. You can really taste the cinnamon in that. But that's okay though. I, I think it, it, it kind of helps. It kind of helps with the uh, the fake apples. In a way, it does, yeah. 
That one made me salivate like really bad though. <laughs> Are we doing like a full fruit pie at the end? <laughs> no, that's so nice. no, that's Just kidding. Okay, pick one. We already did peaches and apple. That peaches, man. That was good shit. We'll probably peach. finish that one, huh? I might. I'm not gonna it. finish any of these. It's too much sugar. I won't be okay. able to handle it. Let's I'll get like it. I did. I'll get like I did at the end of that one video. Let's go with the lemon, lemon meringue. Lemon meringue. Which lemon I think meringue. is a very underrated pie. I love lemon meringue. Okay. <laughs> I was like, that's too much. Smells like <coughs> lemon meringue. <coughs> smell that up. That does smell like lemon meringue. Charles. Ooh. That didn't taste like It's kind of more meringue. Yeah. I know that's not a word, but it's a little more meringue. -y. You get more of the meringue taste in it than the actual lemon. Yeah, but I like a, I like a subtle lemon. I don't want a, an overpowering lemon. Because if you do overpowering lemon, it'll probably be too tart or sour. Mm -hmm. Didn't like it one bit. Mm. All right. Down to the wire. Key lime or strawberry or cream? We're doing strawberries and cream first because I love me some strawberries. Does it taste like fake strawberry? Or smell? <laughs> Does it taste like fake strawberry? There's so many smells going on in my cup, I can't tell. Oh, no, that smells delicious. Green. It smells like that fluoride rinse that you got when you were a kid. Kid? It does. But I think that's because it was strawberry flavored, wasn't it? I thought that was bubble gum. I think it depends where you mm. went to school. I've had both. Mm, probably. I like that. That was good. That was nice. That was good. That's really good. I like that. Mm. Mm hmm. All right. I think that's the best one for me. I think out of all, of them, that's that's my favorite. Yeah. Ruger, be quiet. Ruger. You can't be on camera. <laughs> be quiet. Stop it, Ruger. <laughs> I forgive me. I have a hunting dog. It's a blue tick plot hound mix and, and he howls. He doesn't bark. <laughs> too much energy. He can run all day, still has energy. He's like a two year old. He's like a two year old. But okay. he's actually like one. Let's key lime it. Alright, last but not least. Key lime. Get your fixings. Key lime pie. Mail the fixings. The next one will be. Ooh, that smells good. But you can tell it's a fake key lime. Yeah. You know how you know? It's too green. The color, no, it's green, period. A fake key lime is always green. A real key lime will be white. Yeah, that's a fake key lime, but it's good. It's good. It's that's good. That's better than but lemon. it's a fake key lime. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm not if if the soda was white, you'd know it'd be made with real. That's how you can tell how artificial it is. It's a Great. I'm honestly going to say. But it's like a minty green. I like that. Out of these five, I've only really enjoyed two. Really? Let me guess. Peaches and cream and the key lime pie. Actually, no, you're wrong. What? Mm -hmm. I know peaches and cream is one of them. Peaches and cream is number one. What's number two? Strawberries and cream. Oh, strawberries and cream. Because I was going to say, I it, it you was, didn't like a, that lemon. It was a perfectly balanced flavor. The apple pie, it really didn't hit Too for cinnamony. Me. Didn't hit home. Like, I love apple pie, especially a crumble top. It's, Dutch apple? Hmm? Dutch apple? Well, it can be a regular apple pie with a crumble top. I mean, you just like it. Or, I, or a graham cracker top. It doesn't matter. Like, it just, that didn't hit too for me. It was too, it, I don't understand the cinnamon, cinnamon taste. You, there's always cinnamon in apple pie. Then you haven't eaten apple pie, baby. I feel like this would be 
the all the ultimate like supernatural because he's obsessed with pie. You <laughs> shut your cake hole. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, if Seely Booth was a real person and he was here, he'd be upset with this. And he loves pie. He orders pie all the time at the diner. <laughs> In case you don't know what I'm talking about, bones. Talk about bones. <laughs> okay, I'm kind of curious about what these two would taste like together, though. Shit, now. Wonder what a key lime lemon meringue would taste like. Smell though. Doesn't smell bad. Ooh. It's really good. <laughs> you should try it. <laughs> Have a sip. Mm -mm. Do a sip. No. Little sip. Mm -mm. You can do it. I believe. Just do what we do in most of the drink videos. Pour, 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 pour. I would show. never do that to peaches and cream. <laughs> you did that to the peaches. The, uh, the, the, the peach beer. Because that was peach beer. Okay, I'm going for it. Since you don't want to do it, I'll do it. But the sad thing is... Can you imagine how this is I'm to obsessed with peaches. Like, I love them, but it's not my favorite fruit. What's your favorite fruit? Kiwi. Kiwi? You should try... Apparently, the golden kiwis in South Korea... They taste different from a normal kiwi. Let's talk about an underrated fruit. Star fruit. No. Jackfruit. No. What? They're underrated? So is durian. No. Hat? No. I will never try it. I've heard it's... It smells awful, tastes awful, it's delicious. But smell that. You can smell the cinnamon from the it apple. Oh, shit. But like... It's it smells me. okay. Yeah, we're, going, hey. we're going for a fruit pie combo. <sighs> Probably gonna regret it. Actually, I know I'm gonna regret it because this is a lot of sugar. Mm -hmm. I don't really eat anything that has more than 15 grams of sugar. I haven't for like two years. Well, it's a good thing you're not eating that. You're I'm drinking, drinking it, but it's still a lot. Throw it back. You, I bet you that cinnamon taste is overwhelming. It is. Mm, I know. But it's not bad. I know. But you can definitely taste the cinnamon more than anything. But it just tastes like somebody shoved all of that in together. But I mean, fruit, it tastes like a fruit salad. <laughs> a drinkable you know fruit salad. Like, you know what? You can't go you wrong know with be fruit. interesting to try as a drink? What? And it's a pie. Mm. Strawberry rhubarb? Ha ha. I would definitely try just a rhubarb pie. Mm. It doesn't have to be I strawberry. Love, I love rhubarb it, it pie. It can just be rhubarb, rhubarb pie. <laughs> rhubarb. <laughs> rhubarb. I would. Rhubarb. I would much, I'd much rather try to drink a uh, try a uh, pecan pie. That's Without because the you. Nuts. But you can't have nuts. <laughs> a drinkable pecan pie because you can't have nuts. Mm-hmm. But That's a very underrated pie. A lot of people don't eat pecan pie. I love pecan. <sighs> what was your favorite? Oh, the strawberries and cream. My my top would go strawberry and cream, key lime, lemon meringue, apple, and then peaches. The peaches was good. It was delicious. But like I said, I don't like peaches. I'm not a peach person. I like real peaches. I don't like fake peaches. I also don't like fake cherry, fake grape, fake coconut. If it's real, I love it. <laughs> that did not go the way I was planning it to. Uh, I'm, not, I'm, not so much, I'm not so much big on fake fruit flavors. I don't mind Especially it. fake grape. Fake grape does not taste like real grape. At all. What's your lineup? Peaches. We know it, peaches, strawberries, and cream. I know apple is last. Is that about right? Or do I, I would, need to put key lime? I would put key lime. Okay, so yours goes that, peaches, strawberry, key lime, lemon meringue, and then apple. Yeah. 
This is about cinnamon. Mm -hmm. I'm not a cinnamon person. I don't like it. I love cinnamon. I but. can't stand the taste of cinnamon. Like whoever invented the drink fireball needs throat punched. I love fireball. It's disgusting. I like anything cinnamon flavored. Except atomic fireballs. <laughs> mm. Understandable. But yeah, but these these I bought off of at 19. And there were 27 of them. There were 27 sodas total. Yeah. There were 27 sodas total. Um, two of them broke. <laughs> Shot it. Two of them broke. So we will not be featuring the pickled flavored soda and the uh, buffalo wing because they unfortunately did break, which that might be very understanding. So, uh, but yeah, our next video will be uh, pie and cake. Because we had, well, we're doing five videos, or five sodas per video. See, the sugar's getting to me now. I can't even talk. It's bad. <laughs> we're doing five sodas per video. So, and since we had an abundance of the pie sodas, we're going to do a pie and cake. Which, there's carrot cake. And I know you like, you like cream cheese frosting, though. I do like cream cheese frosting, but I don't know how yeah. carrot cake pie drink would taste. It's not a carrot cake pie. It's just carrot cake. We're doing oh. cake and pie. Oh. Because we have a pumpkin and we have a cherries and cream pie. I'm excited about the pumpkin pie. I love pumpkin pie. Pumpkin Are you sure pie. it's not going to be too much cinnamon? I hope they didn't put cinnamon in it. Pumpkin pie has cinnamon. And no, that not a good pumpkin pie. A good pumpkin pie. What kind of pumpkin pie are you eating? Listen, a good pumpkin pie doesn't require cinnamon, just nutmeg. I think we're going to get some comments and be like, what kind of pie is your brother eating that doesn't have cinnamon in it? Pumpkin and cinnamon go like hand in hand. No, they don't. Yes, they do. No, they don't. They don't. That's like saying... If you're going to say the sky is blue, I'm going to be like, the sky isn't blue, Mikey. I'm gonna say something. It's the light reflecting off the ocean that makes it blue. I was going to say something way worse and I decided <laughs> not to. Because you knew you were wrong. No, I, no, I was right. It, no. it just, the analogy I had lined up in my mind was going to just come off. Weird? No, make me sound like an asshole. I mean, <laughs> I mean you are. I mean, we uh, fine. <laughs> Would Fine. you admit openly? You're like, I am an all right. I bet you if I, I can't because we're filming on my phone. I bet you if you picked up your phone and looked at the ingredients for a pumpkin pie, it would list cinnamon. Sorry, I was doing a little digging. Were you curious Were what you, that said? It said what, what is, is DID? DID? Yeah. yeah, I know. Dissociative what Identity DID Disorder. disorder. Yes. I know what DID is. I follow um, the one girl on YouTube. I can't remember her YouTube handle, but I know her name is Jess. I think. I'm sorry if I can't remember right now. The sugar is going to my brain. What are you? Look pie for, crust. Last one's pie crust. Look for cinnamon. Okay. Pie crust, brown sugar, nutmeg, whipped cream, ginger, puree, Mikey. pumpkin pie, spice, egg, sugar, evaporated Mikey. milk, cream, pumpkin. Look up how to make your own pumpkin pie spice. Maggie, this says pumpkin pie common ingredients and it did not say cinnamon. <laughs> it says nutmeg Pum and it was cinnamon. Mikey, pumpkin pie spice is a combination of, of freaking seasonings. It's a combination of spices. Look up ingredients of pumpkin pie spice. I don't need to, because right there's the ingredients. And Mikey, guess what? You did not You're see bad cinnamon. because you know pumpkin pie spice is in with the cinnamon. I'll give you 20 bucks right now if you look up pumpkin pie spice and there's no cinnamon. <laughs> He's like, I want that 20 bucks. I don't want that 20 bucks. I just want you to look. Uh-huh. Sure. Stupid. That's why he didn't do it until I was like, I'll give you 20 bucks. What's in pumpkin pie spice? Look, and even do your next question. What is in pumpkin? Homemade pumpkin pie spice. Cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, cloves, and sometimes allspice. 
Cinnamon! Cinnamon! She still paused. <laughs> We're doing five sodas per video. And so it evolved from four videos to six videos. Again, we got these sodas off of Vat 19. Horrible company. It is not a horrible company. But I we didn't get a chance to record it, but we took the leftover cotton candy to our mom's house and we had our sister try it. And our mom and, and our aunt. aunt and our niece and we two other out. kids. And what happened to Kayla, Mikey? She gagged and threw up on the bacon, the, the pizza, pizza, and, and the pickle. pickle. But my we mom ended out. up liking the pickle, which she's a fucking psycho. My aunt ended she, up she liking liked... the bacon and the pizza, which she's a psychopath. Yeah, our mom took the pickle and the key lime pie of all flavors. But anyway, thank you guys for joining in. Please like and subscribe. And we will see you on our next video. Signing out, this is Mike. This is Maggie. And we are Yumiosity. <laughs>